Good afternoon. Well, I'm back in the shop again, and uh, I've been playing around with this dig digital scope here, and um, I got a manual thanks to some uh, forums that I've got into, and uh, the manual I got doesn't show the H O one O two. It's the H O. 52, but I think it's the same thing anyways. Uh, when I got this uh, from the eBay seller, um, it's not written, uh, damn screen, that's the only complaint I got, the damn screen keeps going out, and there is no mention of that in the book. I've got the manual, downloaded the manual on it, because it didn't come with one, when you push these menus down here, all here, you'd have some foreign language or something. Now it's all set. So, um, I have not figured out how to adjust the time base on this. But if you push it on auto, you don't have to worry about it. Now, this is showing about 20.2 megacycles. So on the ICO 324, it's 20. Okay, I've got the uh, ICO 324 set at four megacycles, because this scope here won't read that high, uh, beyond uh, five, and it claims only one, I think, when I got it. And uh, there it is right there, four megacycles, megahertz, whatever you call it. Now, um, we can push auto and see what it does. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So, it's a good little scope. I showed um, this on my channel before. It never claimed to go that high, but as you can see, it does it. So, let's put it on this. The screen went out, but we're going to go take this plug out and put it up here. I'll be right back. Okay. And uh, let's see what we're at here. Uh, 3.992 megahertz. Volts peak to peak, 2.940. So, of course, this ICO 324 does not put out a sine wave. It never did. Basic, uh, basically, it runs on harmonics, but uh, that's four megahertz or four megacycles, I like to call it. So, um, this little scope here does uh, good too, but um, I paid, like I say, $38 and change plus the shipping and the tax. It was uh, just a uh, damn thing goes out. That's the only complaint. I can't seem to get the screen to stay on. So, you're working on something, it goes out on you. And there is no setting for that. I looked all over. But the biggest issue was this was not in English. All these menus down here when you push them, where it says cursor and measure, there was all in foreign language. You know, but now it's back on English. And... What I had to do is uh, someone sent me a video to change it. And what you do is you hit the system button. Then you hit the F2 button. And then you hit this and it'll show you like in Japanese and everything else, all the languages. And then you set it. Now there's supposed to be a return key on this or an enter key. The only thing I can think of is this. But some of the settings say hit enter. But there is no actual enter key here. Not even an OK button. So that must be it right there. But that's supposed to be the back button. A little arrow tells you to go back. But anyways, there it is. Um, I'm not going to be playing around with the meter part of it right now. Uh, I'll do that off camera. Um, and like I say, it came with all these 
accessories, what I got to do is to get this little screwdriver here and uh, put the calibration, put the probe in here. And apparently, I think I'm wrong on this because I look online uh, of these meters that look like this and supposed to be just almost the same model. I don't think there's a plug that goes in there. See them contacts? You're supposed to put your probe in there, ground and one on the uh, tip here on the other. The problem is it keeps falling off. You know, it doesn't like to stay on there. So what I would probably do is to put some clip leads on it and bring it out and do it. It's only, it's only one KC anyways, so it doesn't really matter. And then I can uh, calibrate the probe because right now the probe is not calibrated for this scope. And there is two probes here. And there's the other one here. And they need to be calibrated right here. I guess you can't you can't shut it off when I got a waveform going in. Or it's still being charged, of course. Okay, there it goes. I guess it's charged. Alright. I didn't use it all that much. I played around with it in the house and looked at the main uh, the manual on it. Which, like I say, I'm going to, it's on a PDF and I'm going to go put it in my shop tablet here. Because I'm going to have to have this side by side with this to learn how to use it. You know, I'm fairly familiar with analog oscilloscopes, you know, like the uh, Tektronics. Um, I'm pretty much familiar with it, not everything, but you know. But digital is quite different. It's like this one here. There's a big, big learning curve with it, and, um, you know, when I get in the mood, I'll play around with it more, but just wanted to show you, this, this little guy here does pretty good. Like I say, I bought this thing a few years ago on eBay. So, okay, folks, a little handheld there. I hope it isn't too shaky for you. We're going to let you go here, and uh, we'll probably get this video up to you. Um, other than that, not much going on. I um, tried to contact the seller twice. He doesn't respond, but most sellers don't answer when I ask them a question. Um, I wanted to know if he knows how to set that to English. But thanks to another gentleman who's kind enough to make a video for me and told me how to do it. Because it doesn't tell you in the book about how to change the language on this. So unfortunately, the seller that I bought it from uh, either spoke the language or um, bought it from someone else. I guess they do a lot of used equipment. And he has 98% um, something or other feedback. I think it's something like that. So, um, but he gave me good um, positive reviews. A lot of the sellers don't give me any feedback and like I said before many times when I buy something from a seller the seller has my money okay the sellers by rights should give the buyer feedback automatically because the seller already got 
my money. But there's been times, a few times I've given feedback to a seller that did not give me any feedback. And I don't have that many feedbacks because I don't sell on eBay. But, you know, the more you get, when you don't, when you got thousands, it doesn't matter. But when you got maybe less than a hundred, I don't even think I got that many, uh, you know, every feedback counts. So, you know, that's basically how I feel about it. It's the seller's responsibility to give feedback first, and then by all means, I will return the favor. That's just the way I work. All right, well, <laughs> anyways, that's it, folks. You're lucky you got two videos in two days. I don't know if you're lucky or not. Thanks for watching.